Bright Bold Lipstick is truly the hottest makeup trend this season. Wear that pop of color and you'll surely be the star of that summer party. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rock the bold lip, particularly the red lip, like Sundara Park, and recreate the party look by a toothed house. Always start with a clean face. I wash my face with baking powder pore cleansing foam. Its deep cleansing action and baking powder formulation rids my pores of all types of dirt and impurities. It keeps me acne free, providing a clear canvas for makeup. Just because we don't see fine lines and wrinkles just yet, doesn't mean we don't need to use any skincare products on our face. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Squeeze one pump of Moistful Eye Essence and gently apply it around the eye area. This will moisturize the skin, giving you a more replenished look, while helping prevent fine lines and wrinkles. Next, lather a generous amount of Moistful Lotion all over your face, concentrating on those areas that are dry. What I like about this product is that it gives just the right amount of moisture, rich enough to moisturize but doesn't increase oil production. It feels light on the face, it's non-sticky, and it's quickly absorbed by the skin, so it's perfect for your pre-makeup skincare. Just one more thing before you can finally start applying your foundation, your face primer. This will help even out your complexion and make your foundation last longer. Use Baby Skin Base in number 1 Baby Green. Apply this all over your face, starting with the areas that have the most visible pores. Baby Skin Base fills in those pores, resulting to a smooth surface, like a baby's. Don't worry, this product is oil-free, so it's safe to put some on those areas that tend to be oily, like your nose and your forehead. If you're wondering why it's green, it's to reduce the redness of your face. I have a yellowish complexion, but my face is pinker than the rest of my body. This product helps balance the pink out. If you don't have the same problem as I do, you may opt to use Baby Skin Base No. 2 in Baby Apricot instead. Moving on to foundation, what's best to pair with Baby Skin Base? Baby Skin Foundation, of course. Pump the needed amount on your mixing plate or the back of your hand, then using a stippling brush or a foundation brush, Apply evenly on your face. If you don't have a brush, you may use your hands instead. Baby Skin Foundation is very easy to blend and instantly brightens up and evens out your complexion. Plus, it leaves a smooth, dewy finish that looks very natural on your skin. I prefer using this product when going out to parties because it doesn't contain SPF in it, unlike BB creams. SPF reflects light, leaving an unwanted white cast on your face when taking pictures in the dark with flash. So take a break from using your BB cream if you're going to a party and opt to use this instead. Next, using your Surprise Essence Concealer, cover any other imperfections on your skin that hasn't been taken care of by your foundation. In my case, I need to conceal my under eye circles. Lightly dab and blend the product onto your skin. This concealer has an excellent staying power, and because it contains essence, it stays moist on your skin, so it doesn't dry and crease around your eyes. See the difference? I find that using Surprise Concealer in number 2 works better in lightening my under eye circles than number 1, because shade number 1 makes it look grayish. Since number 2 is more on the salmon side, it looks more natural. Now set your foundation and concealer using Shiny Star Clear Packed in number 1 Peach. Take your brush, load it up to the powder, and start patting it on those areas that you've concealed before moving on to the other areas of your face. This product has fine shimmers that give your skin a gorgeous healthy looking glow. The color is rather transparent and the powder itself is lightweight so it doesn't cake on top of your foundation. If you have oily skin however, I suggest you use a different product with a more matte finish because the shimmers might make your face look oilier. My face is really round and I would like to have a V-shape like Sundara. I think the closest I can get is through makeup. Taking the Aloha V-Line Slim Maker, 
Apply the cherry brown color along the hollows of your cheeks to give your face more dimension and to make your cheekbones pop out. Blend to make it look more natural. Contour along your jawline and your forehead too. This will create an illusion of a slimmer face. If you want, you can also run it along the sides of your nose. Your eyebrows should be three shades lighter than your hair color if you have dark hair. I have black hair with brown streaks, but unfortunately, I ran out of brown eyebrow pencil and it's out of stock in every branch, as well as the color of my brows and the eyebrow kit. So I'm going to have to improvise using my Aloha V-Line Slim Maker. Using the product you have at hand, lightly fill in your brows. Just fill in the gaps, don't draw in it. If you notice, Sundara and other Korean celebrities almost always have natural-looking, softly defined brows rather than strong and obviously drawn ones. This helps maintain that young, innocent look. I'm defining my brows just a little bit more with Easy Brow Pencil in number 4 Dark Grey. I avoid using this product by itself though because dark grey tends to look too strong on my face. When you're satisfied with your brows, you can proceed to your eye makeup. For this look, the focus is on the lips, so we're going to leave the eye makeup minimal. Taking the sun pink shade from your Aloha V-Line Slim Maker, apply this all over your lids, in the inner corner of your eyes, and on the inner third of your lower lash line. This will attract light and will instantly brighten up your eyes. Don't forget to highlight your brow bone too. I prefer using this highlighter over glittery eyeshadow because this makes your eyes glimmer subtly rather than loudly. Afterwards, use Petite Darling Eyes Matte in shade number 2 with a pencil brush. Shade the outer two-thirds of your lower lash line. This will bring warmth to your eyes. Now taking your Aloha V-Line Slim Maker again, define the outer third of your lash line even further with a cherry brown color using a smaller shader brush and staying as close to the lash line as possible. Don't you just love the Aloha V-Line Slim Maker? It's so versatile. Next, using Touch Touch Shadow Liner in number 1 Charcoal Touch, line your eyes, making sure that the outer area is thicker than the inner area. Create a slight cat eye, just enough for the wing to peep through, like Sundara's eyeliner. For my eyes, however, I had to make the wing a little thicker than usual because my lids fold inwards. So the eyeliner basically disappears, just like that. I also extended the line a little longer to make my eyes look wider and bigger. If you don't have the same eye type as I do, you don't have to make it as thick and as long as mine. I really like this particular gel liner because it's so easy to apply. It simply glides on like a dream. It's longer lasting too since it doesn't really smudge throughout the day. In other occasions, you can also use this as a cream eyeshadow. You're almost done with your eye makeup. You just need to curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara. Mine is the 66 Big Eye Vitcara in number 2 Perm Like Lashes. I wasn't gifted with luscious lashes. But this mascara helps me make them look fuller and longer. It has a very special wand that looks like a comb, and just like a comb, separates the lashes from each other so that they don't clump together and look spider-like. Don't forget to apply on the lower lashes too. This will instantly open up your eyes. I'm not gonna lie, I still need to cheat. If you're satisfied with your lashes, you can skip this part, but if you want to add just a little bit more drama, get your false eyelashes in number 5 natural lashes and snip it in half. Take the longer end of the falsies, apply a thin layer of glue, and wait for a few seconds. Once the glue turns purplish, apply it as close to the lash line as possible. Even though they're false eyelashes, they don't really look fake now, do they?
Now that you're done with the eyes, it's time to add some color to your cheeks. I'm using Lovely Cookie Blusher in number 1 Pink Cookie. This blush has a nice smooth satin finish on the skin, so the color looks very natural. It would seem like the flush is coming from within, as if you're really blushing. Be careful not to put too much though, as to not overpower the lipstick. Take your Aloha V-Line Slim Maker for the last time and apply some pink on the high points of your cheeks, above your inner eyebrows, a little along your nose and on your chin. This will give you that Korean celebrity glow that Sundara has. Finally, for the main and the last part of this look, the lips. Get your favorite red lipstick from your tooth house and apply it evenly on your lips. Mine is the wannabe color lips in number 1, so trendy red. The color is extremely vivid. It really catches attention. In addition to that, the texture of the lipstick is so smooth and the formulation is so moist and creamy, so it never dries on my lips. It smells really good too, like sweet candy. You'd want to eat it. And now you're done! Just fix your hair and you're ready to party! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching!